Kane fears Netflix's WAGS documentary will affect England's World Cup preparations. Harry Kane fears a rumored Netflix documentary involving the wives and girlfriends of England players at the World Cup this year would be a distraction. The Sun newspaper reported on Monday how streaming giants Netflix were keen on the proposal, which has been put forward by production company Optoman TV. The documentary would reportedly follow the wives and girlfriends of players as they go about their everyday lives, but also during this year's World Cup in Qatar. England captain Kane, however, is not keen on the idea and has warned about the distraction it could have on the squad as they bid for glory. I think Gareth Southgate hit the nail on the head, said Kane. We've created this really good environment where friends and family, girlfriends and wives have been part of the team and the group, especially when we've been away. Last summer was a bit different obviously, but I've not been contacted about my wife being involved and she hasn't, so I'm not too sure whose has. We want to focus on the World Cup and we don't want any distraction from that." Kane's comments came in the wake of Southgate revealing he was not enthused by the idea of the documentary either, while also explaining his dislike of the acronym WAGS. It's not my cup of tea, really, said Southgate. I'd be surprised if the group of players we've got would have an interest in that. Because they've wanted to focus on football. The focus in Russia and last summer was all about the players and everything that they do. We've never had any issues. We like to involve the families. We think it's important that the players' partners. I actually think the term WAGS is quite disrespectful, it's their partners and family. I don't like the term. We want them to feel welcome, and we invited them into the hotel when we could in Russia. Mums, dads, and kids. It's a great feeling when you've the kids in, especially. It changes the dynamic of the hotel. We couldn't do that last year because of COVID. It's one big family and I think everyone recognizes that part of what we do has been very good over the last couple of years.